Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Janice. Hey, on this episode, we've got the parts in from Wolfburg West uh, for the brakes to finish those up and start bleeding those off. And we also are going to install the drag link that connects the steering link to the uh, steering uh, gearbox. And uh, so we got a lot to do today, so let's get busy. All right, let me show you what we're going to install today and uh, the parts we got in from Wolfburg West. And then we're going to get started getting on the bus. So. Um, we got a brake pedal assembly right here. We got it painted. We got to install this pin that goes on here uh, that this inserts into the master cylinder. Um, this piece goes on here uh, for the return spring. Here's the new one. Here's the old one. As you can see, it's missing this piece right here. Uh, this right here is the old uh, spacer. We bought a new one from Wolfburg West. Uh, new reservoir because the other one was broke. Uh, this right here is a brake pedal stop that goes on the floorboard so that way you're not jamming it all the way to the floor when you lose your brakes. And then this right here is an accelerated cable boot that goes in the in the floor of the uh, of the bus. Um, and then we got the drag link that only thing we have to do is measure it out and put it on. So that's the parts we're going to install today. And uh, so let's get busy. All right, uh, the first thing I want to do is get this lever uh, connected to the brake pedal. So we'll And this thing's got grooves in it that they sit in, so uh, all right, all right. All right. So next we'll um uh, put the uh, pin in that goes into the uh, into the master cylinder and this actually just held on with a uh, carter pin, so. Well. There. This has got to go on here. I can get this thing lined up. There we go. That is. And that washer goes on there. And then this carter pin will go in there. Like so. Alright, now I'm gonna give me a a uh, pair of pliers to uh let me see if I'll just keep getting this thing. Just bend it around like that. All right. <clears throat> All right, so that's got that in place. So now we're going to put this spacer on, and it will sit up against here right here, and then the spring. So, um... Uh, let me get all that in place and then uh because i want to try to get that spring in there <clears throat> before i put the nut and bolt in there so 
All right, so let me get all that and then I'll bring you back and show you the end results. All right, let me just, uh, get you where we're at. All right, I put the, uh, the spacer in there and we got the spring on there. There's a hole over here on this other side uh, that the top of this spring goes into. And then I had to get a small screwdriver and then just pry this spring up over here. Um, but I had to take uh, the take the pin off and disconnect it from the pipe from the brake uh, pedal to uh, get all that done. So, so now we're gonna put the pin back in. Um, it'll just go in the master cylinder like that. And then this pin will go through the pedal. Like so and then we have a washer and the carter pin so all right let me see if I can't straighten this pin up now yeah. There we go. All right. And there we have it. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to reconnect the, the brake lever with the uh, with the pedal pedal right here. All right. I went ahead and got the. The bolt put in. Now, right. so now let me tighten these up. And I tell you what, with that return spring on there, <laughs> it makes a world of difference. So I'm going to tighten those up, and then uh, I'm going to tighten these nuts up, and then that'll be it for, for this uh, brake pedal lever. So, All right, <clears throat> we got the brake lever installed. We got the, uh, the spacer installed for the brake lever, the spring, return spring uh, in the piston for the uh, master cylinder. Now I'm just going to torque these down to uh, 22 foot pounds. So. All right, we're good on that one. All right, we got the brake lever installed, uh, connected to the brake pedal. We have the, uh, the new return spring with the uh, spacer in there and also the piston to the uh, master cylinder uh, installed as well. So now we're gonna install the uh, the drag link. Okay, we got the new drag link right here. Uh, the only thing we need to do is measure it uh, to this one and um, then it'll just install it, so. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we got the drag link uh, measured out. So <laughs> I had to put this thing in my vise to break this in right here loose because it was down in there and it would not uh, loosen up. So, all right, now we're just going to put this lock nut down here to lock it in place. Uh, and then measure it one more time. And then we're going to put her on. <clears throat> All right, we're going to try this again here. So we should ride down in there like that. And then up here, let me turn you around here. Okay. 
And there she be. put the put the nuts on there and tighten her down so uh and then when i get done i'll show you the end result all right uh so we got the finally got the nut on there the ball joint was moving so i had to get some vice grips put up in there to stop the ball joint from moving so we finally got it tightened down uh it needs to be torqued down to 43 foot pounds so let's see if we can't get her Pork now. Well, if I can put her in the right direction. There we are. Just to kind of go over what we did today, uh, put on the new drag link, put the brake pedal assembly back together with the new spring uh, <clears throat> and the spacer. Uh, got the pin back into the uh, master cylinder and uh, we put the stop <clears throat> right here so the brake pedal doesn't bang up against the bottom of the, <clears throat> of the uh, floorboard. Well, that concludes this episode. Uh, we had a good day today. We got everything that we wanted to put back on the bus. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to start break, bleeding the brakes off. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do all that kind of stuff because I'm going to gravity feed it and that takes a while. So I'm going to put fluid in the reservoir, get everything filled up, open up the, uh, the, um, <clears throat> the bleeder valves, and then once I start seeing brake fluid come through, then I'll close those off. And then we'll go back, go through, and uh, do the pump method to make sure we get all the air out of them. So that's it for this episode. So, hey, thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one. Hey, Kelly and I would like to thank you for tuning in to this episode of Adventures with Janice. If you'd like to keep up with our adventure, make sure you click that subscribe button and click that bell for notifications of when we post new videos. Also, if you like the content, hey, give us a big thumbs up. And you can always leave us comments in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. So thanks for tuning in to this episode of Adventures with Janice. And remember, like we say in the V-Dub world, drive them if you got them. Peace and V-Dub life.